there was this report that Keenan Evans has committed to Olympia Cos uh, to join them after the season. I just want to hear your reactions. Who, who was this reported by you? If no, it's it not was, you. I don't trust it. <laughs> but I can tell can tell you something. Sotiris Vetakis, uh -huh. who reported it first, is a trustworthy reporter. Okay. I mean, but there it's been denied, right? aren't many reporters that I trust uh -huh. in Europe, and this is a tough business. And uh, breaking news and stuff, it's it's a tough business. A lot of bad reports are out there, and Olympiakos denied. But I just tell you two things. So Tiris Vatak is a trustworthy reporter. And the other thing is that <laughs> if Keenan Evans, I won't be I will be surprised if Keenan Evans is not wearing Olympia Coast jersey okay. next season. Okay. That that's all for me. Okay. So what's your right question now? about this? Do yeah, you I think won't. that's a great that's fit for Olympia Coast and Keenan Evans? Is it the best fit from all the situations <laughs> that he could he could choose from? I don't know if it's the best fit, but for me it's a perfect fit between the team and, and, and the player. Uh, first of all, because Keenan is by nature an, an, an unselfish player. He doesn't need the ball and I feel like in Bartzoka's system where the ball is flowing, moving, uh, he would just fit it right in uh, with, with his and then he would just bring so much more perimeter talent that they have like K Cannon, but like that's a different level of, of uh, offense that uh, Keenan Evans can bring. And he can defend, so he's a bit over uh, Cannon. In, th in those regards, we, we shouldn't even compare. But uh, yeah, I feel like it's a perfect fit for me. And uh, hes I don't know, he's coachable. He, he, he said this himself recently in one of the podcasts that I'm never the guy who needs a lot to, uh, to take a lot of shots. But, uh, but if the coach needs me to take those shots, I will take them. So I think this in this system, it's a perfect match, really. Like, Olympiacos fans, if you are worried, because I know you might think uh, the guys you signed from Jalgiris don't fulfill your expectations recently, <laughs> but <laughs> this one is different. Uh, I'm all in, to be honest. Uh, I don't want to speculate, but the only guy who doesn't have, I think, a contract extension is Isaiah Kanan, right? Yep. In that team. So I think he is going to replace uh, Isaiah, and I think it's the perfect fit. Just imagine, like, in the starting lineup, you have Walkup's defense mm -hmm. and Evans' offense. At the same time, to have these two guys that that are at the top in each category, Olympia Kos, I think, badly needs a guy who could create a shot off the dribble. In mm -hmm. the end, you mentioned that. And I'm glad you mentioned his defense because we all know what Olympia Kos needs and why this is a perfect fit offensively. But I think we often overlook one thing when talking about Keenan Evans. Like defensively, he is, you know, he's really good. He's above average. Why Jaeger is took him? Because he's also tall. So after switches, he can deny, he can front. He's not as bad. He's not a liability defensively. So imagine what it will do to Olympia cause defense too. Like you have a super tall lineup with Mustafa Fall, with Thomas, Thomas Walkup, with uh, Evans there. Who is the liability then? Mm -hmm. he, by the way, he's not he's not like super tall. He's not two meters. No, no, he's he's 192, no, yeah, 193. But that's more than enough in Europe. But it's, it's, it's his body, actually, I think. He's he's a very solid built guy uh, who cannot be pushed around. And he has that defensive instinct, which is I think is even more important. He goes for the steals and he takes the right positions. And, and it's not just about going for the steals. It's just about, you know, not losing the position if you're in a switch situation and yeah. you have to deny the ball from the big man or try to put him push him out of his position close to the basket and this this point is very interesting to me because to me Keenan Evans among all those great EuroLeague scorers he's probably the best defensive scorer exactly. that we have in the EuroLeague the I best all around scorer that we have in the EuroLeague let's see how it's going to change when he will get this big paycheck and when he will figure out that you know in EuroLeague they pay money for offense hmm. but he has instincts he has desire and he has but in my eyes, he has a great body to be an all-around scorer. But what is interesting uh, from what I've, I've been hearing for the last couple of weeks, trying to evaluate his uh, potential for the NBA or for the powerhouses, I know that in many NBA scouts' eyes, his size is not good enough for the NBA, first of all. 
And secondly, I heard that even some big, big EuroLeague teams were questioning his size for the EuroLeague level, for the top, top EuroLeague level, which surprised me because if you look at, at all the other greatest EuroLeague scorers, you know, Shane Larkin, Mike James, Marcus Howard, okay, maybe Lorenzo Brown is a different case, but Wade Baldwin is a different case, but Keenan Evans, with his size and with his defense, he's at least top three. I understand, uh, you know, I understand I why don't. NBA's no. <laughs> yeah. I NBA, understand yeah. why NBA yeah. scouts have this because it is true. Yeah, but by the NBA Europe, standards, it's different. By year league standards, I think we are looking at the number one defense with Keenan Evans there. Like they're really good right now. They're even better next year with him. And like I think Olympia Cost fans will love this guy. He's a good guy. You know, good character. On I think when he gets paid, he's still playing defense as hard as he's doing right now. And yeah, just get ready for those one-handed, you know, one dribble with the left hand, pull up freeze. He doesn't need many dribbles to create. Perfect for Olympia cost system. So I will say this, I think they're number one contenders if they sign him next season. Mm. They have the system, they have the core. <laughs> Come on now. No, no, what no. is there? I, it's very early to I say something I just had like that, all or... these memories, like Will Clyburn joins FSO. They're number one contender uh, to okay. have a triple crown. <laughs> no. This ex-player joins uh, Ygrick team, you know. Oh, this is different. They, they, now they're going to win the EuroLeague. This EuroLeague is, is, is a crazy league. So let's let's keep these 2024-25 uh, season predictions, at least for the summer. But I, I see your point. I agree. But every time when I see that something is looks really great, I try to look for some challenges or obstacles that I don't see right now. And one of those challenges is a simple fact that Kino Nemans is, a, is playing for a playoff contender or for a team that making the playoffs is already a huge achievement. And we had such case in Darius Thompson. He looked like a perfect fit for FS. Look what happened. So I'm I'm but kind of but okay. Keenan, but Keenan plays yeah, 20, 25 Keenan, minutes man. a game. It's not a disrespect. It's of like being yeah, aware I, that I, going I, to the I next understand. level and trying to win the title, not the playoff berth, is a it's huge different. challenge. Pressure on Olympiacos is huge. So you know, let's be patient. Let's be patient with Keenan Evans. You know, first of all, shooting up for Olympiacos, then uh, you know, making his first games. You know, adjusting to this different environment. Mm. Different game style of yeah. Yorgos Barsokas, and and then we can talk. I mean, I I, I I believe that he has full potential to be super successful because of the personality qualities, because of his game qualities. But what I've learned throughout years in the Euroleague that you See? have to be patient. And See, this is this is the dad talking. Here. Exactly. No, you know why he's exactly. the dad? Is he said uh, he said not X and Y, but he said Y-Grick. X and Y. <laughs> He said Y on, on our bonus I said podcast. 